we are conditioning ourselves for the next asan class we start with sthita prarthana asan steady prayer pose stand tall smile broad both the palms at the center of the chest relax your elbows chin parallel to the ground slowly close your eyes and just focus on your breath do not control your breath just observe feel the air coming in going out we start with the prayer hum apne man ko hamesha santulit rakhna hai isi mein hi hamara aatma vikas samaya hai hum apne man ko hamesha संतुलित रखना है इसी में ही हमारा आत्मविकास समाया है आत्मविकास समाया है आत्मविकास समाया है हरिओम तत्सत जय गुरुदेव Good morning everybody namaste suprabhat good morning good morning suprabhat suprabhat buenos dias good buongiorno okay italian italian okay <laughs> so we'll start the class <clears throat> so we'll start with the shoulder rotations okay perfect Very slowly, other round, other side, and relax. Today we'll do the hand raise. So just take the arm up. This this will go back. Okay, and stretch. Excellent. Slowly bring it down. Other side. Release. One more round. stretch it feel the stretch release and relax okay so take the hands on the back like we do dwikonasana and just stretch your arms up that's it <clears throat> good so it is just taking your arms as up release yes sideways good excellent release last round up and release center okay relax now turn your head to the right 
center left center right center left center drop the head to the right center left center right center left center excellent rotate clockwise anti clockwise breathe normal throughout the practice and relax relax okay take the hands on your hip hip rotation slowly rotate your hips other way around change change and relax feet together fold the knees rotate clockwise anti clockwise other way around change other way around and relax now we'll do some for toes so lift the toe flex it down take it up down up down up Rot slide sideways good flip it sideways perfect rotate clockwise other way around good fold the leg rotate it perfect other way around and relax down up left side up down up sideways good rotate clockwise other way around good perfect and other way around and relax okay get ready for ek padasan series when you are ready slowly lift your leg lift place the toe on your opposite thigh <coughs> put your palms in namaste if you are comfortable slowly take your arms up and very slowly tilt your side the same side the leg is up chin up chin up back <coughs> and other side eyes focus breathe normal throughout the practice dheere se slowly dheere se slowly take your arms up stretch your arms to your side very slowly chin up back slowly and excellent okay <coughs> Now today we'll do the Vrukshasan, Ardha Padma Baddha. Okay, so first lock it. Excellent, good. And then stretch your leg, arm up. So it's a Ardha Padma. When we lock it, it's a Baddha. Change. Other side. so important part of this variation lift the leg high it should come to the navel so you to, if you want to improve it try to touch your heel to the navel so when you're doing this lift it higher you carry on you carry on you carry on good 
perfect. Release and relax. Okay. Next is Natarajasana. Slowly lift your leg, fold it, hold your toe. Slowly take your arm up and slowly push your leg away from the body. This is important part of Natarajasana. <clears throat> change perfect the way you go into the asana the same way we release the asana okay so no abrupt movements of your body very smoothly natarajasana is a very powerful posture release dheere se Press in front, slowly repeat one more round, Nataraj, excellent, feel it, perfect, release, other side, <coughs> Slowly. Release. And relax. Pavana Muktasan, standing. Slowly lift your leg. Fold it, squeeze it hard. Keep the back straight, chin up. Pressure on your abdomen. Pavan Muktasan. Release. Other side. Release. Side variation. Pavan Muktasan. Excellent. Slowly take the arm. Those who find it difficult, standing variation, we do Marichasan, sitting. So focus on the Marichasan. Once you get the hold, standing variation comes easily. Release. <coughs> Other side. Perfect. Release. Garudasan. Christina's favorite asan. Garudasan. Okay. Perfect. Side. <clears throat> Ideal position, the palm should be in front of your face. Good. Release. One more round. We do sideways. Change.
to release and relax okay <clears throat> so today we'll do the natwar asan lord krishna basuri i'll sing <laughs> just take it basuri 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 sham ki basuri 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 sham ki che oh my lord be with me oh my lord set me free oh my lord be with me oh my lord set me free change one more round mm mm Okay, ready, relaxed. <clears throat> Now today we'll do the nice stretch, very effective stretch, sideways and front and back. So slowly take your arms up, put your palms together, lock your thumbs, push your body up, and slowly go to your right. Very important part: use your core. Back should be straight, chin up. Hand which is down should be stretched out. Breathe normal. Feel the stretch. you should feel it on the core come back to the center relax push your body up and slowly tilt your side left excellent focus on the stretch the hand which is down should be stretched out breathe normal feel it it's a very intense stretch a very powerful practice it's a excellent warm up come back take your hands down Move your shoulders. One more round. Slowly take your arms up. Put your palms together. Lock your fingers. Push your body up and to your side. Excellent. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Chin up. Perfect. Focus. Should feel it. Breathe. come back to the center push your body up left <coughs> chin up stretch it stretch good come back and slowly take your arms down <coughs> now first that side so we'll do backward and forward bend any side okay so yeah so what we do now the same thing we go back and then in front till your upper body is parallel to the ground so stretch your arms up <clears throat> lock the fingers look up eyes open breathe normal only upper body will go back as far as you can don't push up forward excellent feel the stretch right from your lower abdomen come back to the center and bend forward till your upper body is parallel to the ground shift the weight on the toes angle is very important feel the weight on the toes excellent stretch your arms in front slowly come back take your hands down and move your shoulders it's an excellent warm up <coughs> one more round ready arms up put your palms together lock the fingers this is important the heels of the palm should be pressed stretch drop your body back excellent eyes open breathe normal feel the stretch if you want you can keep the mouth open count there if you want loudly come back slowly bend forward and stretch it excellent feel the stretch shift the weight on the toes the moment you feel the weight on the toes your hamstrings are engaged If you want to make it effective, tuck the abdomen in. Pull it in. Excellent. Release your abdomen and slowly come back. Take your hands down and relax. Good. Comfortable. Comfortable. Good. Two rounds of Utkatasan. Face that side. <coughs> Utkatasan squatting pose. One foot distance. Okay. 
Slowly take your arms up at shoulder, on your toes and hold. Go down, then go down, okay? There's a hold always before we go down. <coughs> Come up. And slowly take your hands down. One more round, face sideways. Ready? Inhale on your toes, hands at shoulder, hold, down, perfect. Up, excellent. That is very important part of Utkardasana, try to keep your back straight and down. Face that side. Second variation with a yes. So this is with toes apart, hand with shoulder <coughs> on your toes. Hold. Sit. Perfect. Slowly come up. Hold and relax. Last round with the Namaste. Good. Slowly on your toes. Squat down. Perfect. Up. Hold. And relax. Okay? Good. Konasan 3. My favorite asana. Your favorite. <laughs> Stand in the center. Come a little bit this side. To your right. Yes. Okay? Comfortable distance. Two and half foot distance. Both the hands in front. Palm facing up. <clears throat> Keep looking in front. We'll do it in an artistic way. Slowly take your arms out. Look at your right palm and take it to your left toe. Excellent. Touch it. Feel the weight on the toe. Take the head in the center of the body and look up at your right palm. Perfect. Okay. Slowly look down at right palm and come up. Left. Excellent. Touch it. Shift the weight on the toe. Look up at your left palm, right palm, head in the center of the body, look down at the left palm, slowly come up and look in front and hand down. One more round. Now this time we'll take the head in the center and we'll lower the, okay, yeah, take a comfortable distance. Ready? Hands in front, only hands are going out. Look at your right palm, take it to your left toe, keep looking at your palm, touch it, take the head in the center of the body, and if you're able to lower your body down, that's it, stay there, 10 counts. Shall I count? Yes. If you want, you can count. Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om Fah, Om Six, Om Seven, Om Eight, Om Nine, Om Ten. normal okay get ready for the left side slowly left palm to the right toe keep holding your toe take the head in the center of the body if your body allows you then only place the elbow on the floor then look up at your right palm right palm is in the asana fingers together thumb in 
and count with me ready om one om two om three om four om five om six om seven om eight om nine om ten stiram sukham Asanam. Excellent. Come back. Look in front and slowly take your hands down and relax. Ready for Surya Namaskar? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Just stand tall. <clears throat> Get ready. Breathe normal. Catch your breath first. Relax first. Okay. Ready? How many rounds? Last time we did five. Five. Today we'll do six. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> six. If you're tired, take a rest and join us again. Okay. Breathe normal if you want. If you think it's I'm breathless, breathe normal. Okay. Both the palms at the center of the chest. Titta Pratanasan. Slowly go for Hasta Uttan. Arch back. Exhale. Forward bend. Feel the weight on the toes. Stay there. Right leg back. Ashwa Sanchalanasan. Open your heart. Get connected. Left leg back. Parvatasan. Slowly knees. Chest, chin on the floor. Ashtang. Turn the toes out. Bhujang. Come back into Parvat. Press the heels on the floor. Entire upper body should move in. Right leg in front. Left leg in front. Stretch your arms up and sthita excellent okay left side hasta uttan hasta pad left leg back slowly right back ashtang knees chest chin ashta anga Turn the toes out, move your body in front, Bhujang. Come back into Parvat. Press the heels on the floor. Left leg in front, Ashwa. <clears throat> right leg in front, Hastapad. Stretch your arms and come up, Hasta Uttan. Excellent. Very slowly we'll go, breathe normal. If you're tired, just rest and join us. Second round. Ready? Hasta Uttan. Hasta Pad. Right leg back, Ashwa. Left leg back. Ashtang. Knees, chest, chin. Bhujang. Come back into Parvat. <clears throat> right leg in front. Left leg in front. Stretch arms and slowly come up. Hasta Uttan and Sthita. I'm dropping the asana, Sthita Pratana asana. I'm just first part of the asana I'm mentioning. Ready? Sthita. 
हस्त उत्तान हस्त पाद लेफ्ट बैक अश्व संचलन आसन राइट बैक पर्वतासन अष्टांग नीज चेस चेन एक्सिलेंट भूजंग कम बैक इन टू पर्वत लेफ्ट इन फ्रंट राइट इन फ्रंट स्ट्रेच आर्म्स एंड हस्त उत्तान एंड स्थित कंफर्टेबल थर्ड राउंड रेडी हस्त उत्तान हस्त पाद राइट बैक लेफ्ट बैक फील द स्ट्रेच इन पर्वत आसन अष्टांग नीज chest chin bhujang excellent parvat right in front left in front stretch your arms and come back sthita left side hasta uttan Hast pad. Feel the weight on the toes and then left leg back. Ashwa Sanchalan Asan. Right back Parvat Asan. Very slowly go down in Ashtanga. Knees, chest, chin. Bhujang. Good. Come back into Parvat. left in front right in front stretch arms and come up and stay the three more rounds to go comfortable everybody okay some institute they call adho mukha svanasan urdho mukha svanasan the asan is the same there is a difference between urdho mukha and bhujanga after finishing we'll describe that what is the difference between the bhujanga asan and urdho mukha svanasan okay Ready? Fourth round. You are comfortable. Yeah. Three more rounds to go. Three more rounds to go. Ready? Ready? Start. And down. Hastapad. Right back. Left. Ashtang. Bhujang. Parvat. right in front left in front hasta uttan and sthita left side hasta uttan hasta pad left back right back ashtang bhujang good come back into parvat left in front right in front stretch your arms and sthita two more rounds to go comfortable <coughs> last two rounds ready hasta uttan hasta pad right back left back sthit sorry ashtang bhujang back into parvat right in front left in front stretch your arms and sthit left side hasta uttan hasta pad left back right back ashtang 
भूजंग पर्वत लेफ्ट इन फ्रंट राइट इन फ्रंट हस्त उत्तान स्थित एक्सलेंट लास्ट राउंड रेडी एवरीबॉडी कैच योर ब्रेथ एडजस्ट योर क्लोथ गेट रेडी लास्ट राउंड विल गो वेरी स्लोली एंड टूडे वी आर डूइंग सिक्स राउंड सो आफ्टर दैट वील डू शी इज रियली नॉटिंग दैट डे आई टोल्ड यू वॉट विल डू आफ्टर दैट गायत्री गायत्री See, this is a very powerful practice. After six rounds of Surya Namaskar, last round when we finish, stay there in Sit Pratnasan, and we'll do three rounds of Gayatri. Ready? Yes. Last round, slowly. Hasta Uttan, Hasta Pad. Right back. Now hold it. Get connected. Feel the stretch on the left hamstring, left thigh. Now left back. Now press the heels on the floor and we stay there for five breath. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, and ashtang knees, chest, chin. Excellent. Go in bhujang. Stay there. Breathe normal. Feel it. Come back. Press the heels on the floor. Stay there. Okay. Again, five breath. Two. Three. Four. Five. Right leg in front. <clears throat> left leg in front slowly stretch your arms and come up and sthita excellent last round with the left side sthita hast uttan hast pad feel the weight on the toes stretch your body good left leg back hold the position feel it on the right thigh right back press the heels on the floor stay there for five breath 2 3 4 ashtang <clears throat> Bhujang, good. Come back into Parvat. Again, five breaths. Two, three, four, five. Left leg in front. Ashwa. Right leg in front. Now stay there. Feel the weight, and just listen to me. When you rise up, hand and head together. Rise up like a yogi. Excellent. And sthita. Perfect. Three rounds of Gayatri. Stay there. There are two Oms in this Gayatri. Om Bhu Bhurvatsa. Om Tat Savitru. Those who know, they will re- repeat with us. Take a deep breath. Om Bhurvatsva. Om Tat Savitru Varanyam. Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi. Dhiyo yo na prachodayat Om bhu bhurvatsva Om 
तत्सवितुवरण्यम भर्गो देवस्म धीयो यो न प्रचोदयात सवित्रुवरण्यम भर्गो देवस्म धीयो यो न प्रचोद Just go back at the end of your mat. Sit in Vajrasan. Feel the vibrations of your Surya Namaskar and Gayatri. Just breathe normally. you can feel the resonance throughout the body comfortable yes. good that's uh, excellent practice when we do surya namaskar and after that when we chant gayatri it's a very powerful practice we are all blessed with the guru krupa because we can experience those things when we are on the mat clear so since our body and you know how much time it took that for only six set of surya namaskar it is more than 20 minutes six round of surya namaskar that is 12 surya namaskar and three rounds of gayatri so what is important of the surya namaskar it is not the quantity it is the quality of the surya namaskar hold each and every pose those who are not comfortably like when you do hasta padasan you are not able to touch fold the legs put the and then go into asan master each and every asan first and then go with the flow and see the effect of your practice it's a very 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 powerful practice surya namaskar especially if you don't have time for doing all the asanas six sets of surya namaskar so start with two or three sets right so two sets one set is right and left is one set so two sets four three sets six so what we did today six sets so 12 surya namaskar and it was more than 20 minutes so just imagine do it very slowly okay ready so now today what we'll do we'll do the virasan series okay virasan ashva sanchalanasan chandrasan then we'll go for kapotasan raj kapotasan ready so sit with right knee up in virasan because after surya namaskar your body is absolutely warmed up open okay that you can do any variation of surya namaskar uh, uh, virasan either this or the previous one what you are doing holding the dots okay virasan from virasan right to in front 
Ashwa Sanchalanasan. Now make sure knee and heel is aligned. Slowly, if you're comfortable, take the left knee off the ground and open your heart, get connected. Excellent. Form crescent of the moon, C at the view back. Perfect. Slowly take your hands down, put your palms on the floor, slide your right toe near your left palm, rest the hip on the floor. Excellent. And slowly bend forward. <clears throat> it's an excellent hip opener. Breathe normal. Slowly come up and keep going back. Arch back. Perfect. One more round. Exhale, bend forward, stretch your hands in front. Stay there. Slowly come up. Arch back. Good. Now if you want, you can fold the leg slowly. Perfect. Okay. Good. So those who can hold with both the hands, you can hold with both the hands. You can do it one one hand. Want to try with both the hand? Perfect. Good. Slowly release. Good. And bend forward. Slowly come back into Vajrasana. Sit comfortably in Vajrasana, catch your breath. Left knee up in Virasan. Back should be straight. Slowly charge. Ashwa, left toe in front, knee and heel is aligned. If you are comfortable, take the right knee off the ground and slowly come up into Chandrasana. Excellent. Open your heart, get connected. It's a very, very powerful practice. Chandrasana. Release. Now slide your left toe near your right palm. Rest the hip on the floor and bend forward. I think two, three days we have the Buddha Purnima. So you can practice Chandrasana. Slowly come up, keep arching back, good, release, forward bend, relax your body. <clears throat> First, open your body slowly and then you can fold the leg. Perfect. Okay. That's excellent. Okay. So slowly, Raja Kapotasan, Golden Swan. Release and relax. <clears throat> Come back into Vajrasana. Sit comfortably. We'll repeat the same thing. One more round, right and left, okay? Just we'll go in the Ashwa and wind direct, okay? So take the right knee up, Virasana, Ashwa Sanchalanasana. We can repeat because when we do the 
we do the two rounds your asan becomes more comfortable side the we'll drop the chandrasan now slide the right toe near your left palm we'll do for raj kapotasan kapotasan so kapotasan pigeon pose keep bending back keep bending back keep bending back excellent stay there breathe 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 now bend forward come up drop your body back and lift it's better now good for always was when you keep repeat slowly you really need shavasana <laughs> okay. release excellent go down first come back into vajrasana we repeat the same thing with the left side in virasan ashwa just go down in front first right left toe then we go for pigeon pose kapotasan so just keep arching back this is this is important part of kapotasan raj kapotasan your body should be open the leg is long it will easily come to the head down up keep that's it so why i'm saying that you know this is important the leg will easily come because it's long good so as she goes down see she can touch the heel okay so keep practicing hold hold perfect okay so keep practicing let it drown so initially you don't try to lift the leg and try to touch it once the body is open the leg will easily come i know some of you can touch easily your heel to the forehead even she is also almost touching it okay release come back and relax sit in the center before you do shavasana we cool down the body with shitali or shitkari just sit in the center i'm not sitting you just sit okay <clears throat> because i can feel the energy of the surya namaskar so i just I want to feel it okay so shitali shitkari it's a cooling down pranayam it's a very easy to do technique you have to roll the tongue and you have to pull the air through the mouth and you are exhaling from the nose okay it should be practiced in a well ventilated room especially in this what is going on okay corona and everything so at home only you practice it and limitations are if you are having any teeth problem if you have a sensitive teeth if you have acute throat infection and if you are suffering from the constipation avoid the shitali and shitkari now one third of the population is not able to roll the tongue okay so those who are not able to roll the tongue they will do shitakari so this is shitakari and shitli is what okay ready so first we'll do three rounds of shitli three rounds of shitakari okay back straight sit in any comfortable posture we are inhaling from mouth we are exhaling from nose there is no holding so anybody can practice this okay so slowly roll your tongue and start exhale from nose and with shitali and shitkari you can expand your breathing that is i am expansion of a breath dimensions you can feel it 
your normal inhalation is 3 or 4 seconds when you're doing shitli and shitkari it may go to 6 or 8 that is what we call ayam expansions of dimensions one more round of shitli roll your tongue slowly pull the air in One more round of Chitali. Ready? Now we'll do three rounds of Shitkari. <clears throat> Chitkari, just put teeth together, touch the <clears throat> tip of the tongue to the teeth and slowly suck the air from your mouth. Ready? Second round. Exhale from your nose. Last round. Comfortable. Now get ready for Shavasana. <clears throat> Those who are not comfortable in Shavasana, on the back you can lie down sideways in Drudasana or on your abdomen in Makrasana or Matsakridasana. You can do Supta Bhadrasana, Pranam number 4 position, any asana in which you are comfortable. Important part of the Shavasana, next few minutes there is no movement of your body. <clears throat> We have to practice this with the Vairagya Bhav, I am not the body. Make sure your body is absolutely relaxed, especially head, neck, shoulders. We start with our toes. I relax my toes. My toes are relaxed. I relax my ankles. My ankles are relaxed. I relax my cup. My curves are relaxed. I relax my knees. My knees are relaxed. I relax my thighs. My thighs are relaxed. I relax my groin. My groin relax. 
I relax my My arms are relaxed. I relax my abdomen. My abdomen is. I relax my chest My chest is relaxed I relax my shoulders Shoulders are I relax my neck. My neck is. I relax my chin My chin is relaxed I relax my lips My lips are relaxed. I relax my nose. My nose. I relax my eyes. My eyes are relaxed. I relax my forehead. My forehead is relaxed. I relax my skull. My skull is relaxed. is relaxed.
very slowly move your fingers move your toes bring your feet together very slowly turn to your side very slowly taking support of your hand sudden sukhasan very slowly open your eyes we end the session here thank you very much see you tomorrow same time same place हरि ओम तत्सत जय गुरुदेव